Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Irina Krash and Carissa Yip. This game was played in St. Louis in 2020. Irina Krash had white pieces and she started with g3. Carissa Yip played g6. Bishop to g2, bishop to g7, d4, d5, knight to f3, black to move. Instead of copying and playing knight to f6, Carissa Yip played e6, intending knight to e7 and perhaps f5. Arena Crash castled kingside, knight to e7, knight to c3, knight from b to c6, and now e4. d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, f5, attacking the knight, knight to c5, knight takes on d4, and black is upon up. White to move, c3 was played. Let's take it back. This position was seen for the first time in 1989. That was a game between Hracek and Luta. Player with the white pieces Hracek played rook to e1 and the game went like this. Queen to d6, knight takes on d4, bishop takes on d4, knight to b3 attacking the bishop, bishop to f6, queen to e2 for the sacrifice pawn. White had the initiative and went on to win the game. Back to our game. Arena Crash played c3. Is it better than rook to e1? Let's see. Knight takes on f3 check. Queen takes on f3. c6. Queen to e2. Queen to d6. Bishop to e3. Black to move. e5 was played. Knight to d5 seems like a good move too. e5 was played. Rook from a to d1 attacking the queen. Queen to f6. Queen to d2. And Carissa Yip castled kingside too. Black is a pawn up, but white is ahead in the development. How relevant is that? The game continued. Knight to d7. Bishop takes on d7. Queen takes on d7 b6, rook to d6 attacking the queen, queen to f7, bishop to g5. So, for the sacrifice pawn, white has the initiative. Rook from f to e8, bishop takes on e7, queen takes on e7, bishop takes on c6, and the material is equal. Rook from a to b8. Let's take it back. If queen takes on d7, then rook takes on d7. And if the rook moves to d8, rook from a to d8, then rook takes on a7. And white is better. Back to our game. Rook from a to b8. Rook from f to d1. Bishop to f8. Bishop to a4. King to h8. Queen to c6. Rook from e to c8, queen to d7, rook to e8, queen to b5, intending rook to d7 perhaps. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Carissa Yip played queen takes on d6, trading the queen for two rooks. Rook takes a queen, bishop takes rook. Queen to d5, rook from e to d8, bishop to b3, king to g7, h4. Perhaps queen to f7 also looks interesting, and after king to h6, queen takes pawn on a7, but then black plays e4. Back to our game. h4 was played, intending h5. King to h6. And Irina Krash played h5. Black to move. To take the free pawn or not. Krisaev played rook from b to c8. Let's take it back. If king takes the pawn on h5, then white wins with queen to h1 check. After king to g4, queen to h4 check. King to f3, bishop to d1 check. Mate. Back 
to our game. After h5, rook from b to c8, queen to d2 check, black to move. How would you continue? Carissa ape played f4. h takes on g6. h takes on g6. King to g2. Bishop to c5. Queen to e8. Attacking the pawn on e5. How to defend the pawn on e5? What would you do if you had black pieces? Instead of defending the pawn, rook to f8 was played, giving up the pawn on e5. Queen takes pawn on e5. Rook from c to e8. One thing is now clear. Initiative changed hands. That is why club players prefer to have material instead. Queen to d5 was played. f3 check. King to h3. Let's take it back. If king to f1, then rook to e2 is unpleasant. Back to our game. King to h3. Bishop takes on f2. Bishop to d1. Rook to d8. Attacking the queen. Queen to b3. Also defending the bishop on d1. Bishop to c5. Clearing the path for the pawn. Queen to a4. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Perhaps rook to d5 comes to mind. Carissa Ip played. Rook takes bishop on d1. The exchange sacrifice for the unstoppable attack. Queen takes rook. f2 intending. Pawn to f1, queen. Queen to c1 check. King to g7. Queen to f1, preventing the pawn push. But the queens are notoriously poor blockaders. Rook to e8, intending rook to e1. Queen to d3. Let's take it back. How about king to g2? Then rook to e1. And after queen to c4, check. And after king to h1, the pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. And black wins. Back to our game. Queen to d3 was played. Rook to e1. Queen to d7, check. Hoping for a perpetual check, perhaps. King to h6. Queen to d2 check. Black to move. What would you do? Black. Play the move when white resigned and the move is bishop to e3. Arena crash resigned in view of discontinuation. Queen to d3. Pawn is pushed promoted to queen check. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen. And I guess we can stop here. That was extremely good defending by Carissa Yip. And also nice counter attack. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.